right now we're at an auction that we've been to seven times now this is number seven seventh year in a row that we've been to this auction pennsylvania father and son father and son this is a government auction with a lot of old surplus stuff big vehicles big equipment and smaller vehicles police vehicles county vehicles that type of stuff so we're gonna walk around and we're gonna see what all is here yeah That'd be pretty fun, right? Fishing trips. Take it out on the water. That would be fun. <laughs> wonder if it's got a uh, title. I don't know how the boat uh, titles and stuff like that work. Uh, it's 18 Everton Road, 2018, 75 horsepower outboard. It says water search and rescue. Huh. huh. Hey, it's a county we'll, boat. We can get this and start <laughs> fishing. One owner county boat. <laughs> yeah, we got some dump trucks here. Nothing that we would be interested in. Mac, Freightliner, and Ford. If I can get a deal on one of these trailers, I might jump on it. A boxed-in trailer. Older generation Explorer. Explorer, this is actually uh, is an expedition, expedition, yeah. Oh, okay. 05. 109,000. Police manager on the highway. It says it's got rusted through rockers. At uh, times, the engine go up unexpectedly. RPMs go up. Mm -hmm. Power steering issues. No inspection. They're gone. Oh my, what rockers. Underneath is just the same as the rocker. Nope, a little bit too rusty here. It's a shame too because the body doesn't look half bad, but underneath is just shot. That's the problem when you go north. The further north you go, the more rust that you get. This is, uh, this one's the newest Explorer that they had here. We've had an auctioneer that was here for like five of the years. Last year was the first new auctioneer. This is a, another new auctioneer. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the auctioneer, his workers, the municipal, because there's several municipals that comes together. They come together to sell at this auction. Whoever it is, is an idiot. Because it says the engine, it's got 94,000 miles, engine, undrivable. Engine is bad. Other than that, everything else is good. <laughs> it's like saying your heart is completely shot, gone. Other than that, everything else is good on Other the person. Other than that, we're healthy. <laughs> Other than that, I'm healthy. I don't have a heart, I have to have a transplant. But everything else is okay. That's ridiculous. That yeah. one's been sitting for a while, too. I do like the... Uh, that front headlight style when they refresh the uh, Explorers. I'll be right over. Got the white and blue decal out back here. All wheel drive. Yeah, too bad that one has a bad engine. Got the push bar and everything up front. This one has 128,000 miles. It says fair to good, no known problems. Hmm. It's a 13. It has a little drop in the door. You notice that? I did. A little tear in the seat, not quite as bad as the one that you had. The other one. Mm -hmm. That's repaired. These uh, maintenance records, it looks like. The oil changes. Looks uh, like a bunch of different things. Brakes, yeah. new fuel pump, seat belt buckles, new headlight, wipers. Uh huh. All the way back Front to the brakes, very beginning. Pads. Water pump was just done at 125,000. That's something that is a big issue on these People things. People ask that too. You do. Yep. So that's nice that that's been done. Common. Common problem. Problem on these utility interceptors. Got the back seat. Not a plastic seat, I think. That's good. I don't have to worry about that. Yours had the back seat in it, but it had the prisoner seat over it, if I remember right. Flex fuel. So you got the new spare tire. Full size spare. Full size, yep. Body doesn't look too banged up either. I say that and then I see this over here. That might actually buff out. It's not too bad. 
Got a fender hole. Two thousand and three F three fifty power stroke with two hundred and five thousand miles. Fair condition. Transmission gauge reads hot, hot after, after running range. short distance and it's got a plow. Plow. That probably has something to do with the trans overheating is the plow. Sure. This looks like this has probably been replaced. Yeah. Because this is not a replacement. I did one on that. That white, white one. one. Yeah. Yep. They did a good job on it. Yeah, they did. A lot of times they'll do it. They don't even, you know, put it up. How's the other one? Underbody looks pretty solid on it. That seat is not torn either. That's nice to see. Wheel dot uh, freed up. Looks like they did some kind of a. Uh, I think they probably did body work on this. And then they put this like liner stuff because you can see how it's a little rippled. Yeah. See that? And, and then it's they. Uneven. Someone did not go to the trade school for their X Acto knife. <laughs> they skipped school on the day they were covering the subject of X Acto knife or whatever it was. This is what we used to call when we lived in a different state about 15 years ago. We call it dealer tape. Dealer car tape. dealer tape because if you go to auto auctions they will they literally have that tape that you can put on it's like an auto yeah. dealer tape that they put it on over the top of rot wow to sell it to the public or sell it to people unbeknownst that there's rot in the holes that's ridiculous that is. whoa that's that tape <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a tailgate smashed in that much. Wow. You never would have guessed from the outside. You ready? Yeah. Moving on. Let's see what they got. 108,000 miles. Oh, 2006. Yep, 3,500 GMC. Needs tires. I can see that. They're a little bald in the front and the back, too. Seats kind of. Cover. Tore up good. Tore up, tore up good. Steering wheel is in nice shape, not frayed or anything. That's four nice by feature. four. Somebody wants to carry something. Yeah. 3500, it's going to have the heavy duty suspension. 1600 pound capacity lift here. Right? Yeah. Somebody wants to do that kind of work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they probably hauled some heavy stuff back there. That's a Rhino, too. Good liner. The rockers look good on this one too. They're not rotted out. The underbody's nice and clean. The frame is solid. It's refreshing to see some vehicles that aren't totally rotted out and complete garbage. Here looks like we got a little fluid leak of some sort. I don't know what that could be coming from. What's that? Looks like something might have been leaking under there at one point. It just says miles exempt. Does it? Exempt miles, 06, 3500. This one looks a little more rough than its brother over there. Got another Reiner Lino on this 3500. This one does not have the dump bed. <laughs> What's going on? So we got some major rot here. Oh, really? Ooh. Look at look back here. It says it has 50,000 miles, but look underneath there, it's so 07. That's major. Tape. Tape to cover up the lies. 07 with 50,000 miles. Fly, waste, water, pile, personnel. Runs has a lot of rust. So let's, I'm going to take a look under the underbody. The other side's the same way. <laughs> 
shave too. That is. Because besides that whole quarter bed on. The whole rocker basically. It's a shame besides the whole bottom being rusted. <laughs> Aside from the frame being rotted out, it's okay. <laughs> well, the interior doesn't look too horrible. What about that side? This is an XLT. Right here. If you look closely, yeah, you can see that the frame actually has rust on it. Yes. But you can see how it looks like the county or something must have painted because it has paint lines. Yeah. So it's covering the rust. They painted it. It's on the frame. Over the frame. They just spray painted the frame, yeah. Try to make it look to make it look better. But I mean it, it's it is what it is. It's just rotted anyway. I mean that's major. It is. The whole side. Both rockers completely are gone. They must have done some kind of a serpentine belt something replacement because there is a serpentine belt in there. These are rather unique and uh, few and far between, at least in my area, these little X-Track, Explorer X-Track trucks. Basically an Explorer pickup. Looks kind of like an old version of a Maverick, really. Here's another uh, one of the newer styles. High, I'm, hours. high miles, high hours. 2018. Seat is not torn like the others. Way back here, boys. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. <laughs> I haven't even looked at that one. That was my favorite yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll meet you there. 2018 all wheel drive. Mileage is not listed in the window on this one. The body and the interior actually don't look too bad on it. Looks like it did have a push bar, but they took it off. Here we go. Ooh, this has the 5.8. Was well, a supervisor's vehicle and has a shop loaner. Runs good, has a lot of rust. I remember when they used to put actual decent vehicles at the auction. Now they take the shit out of the toilet bowl and <laughs> bring it here for the consumer to yeah. deal with. I know. Got a 5.8. Does it? Yeah. Mm. Ready? Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what else we got here. These little flares are hiding a world of rust underneath here. That's why when you inspect these things, you really have to. look at these things because man that's a shame the frame and underbody doesn't look bad though I wonder how many miles are on it miles aren't listed it's an F-250 Engine bay doesn't look too bad. Anything you want to throw in the comments box, just flood the video with comments. Flood it, flood it, flood it, flood it with comments. Rate the video, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe today if you haven't already, please, as it really just helps the channel tremendously. And I do appreciate you watching. I will see you all in the next one.